Welcome back. In this lesson, we will quickly go over what MVC means in the Joomla environment. The first piece we will look at is the controller. The controller's job is to deal with tasks that are being requested by the client or the system. The base API class we use for a controller is called JController. The next piece we have is the model. The model's job is to know all about the data that we'll be using. The base API class we use for models is called JModel. Models don't know anything about displaying the information, just how to get it, or set it as the case may be. When designing your models, it's important that the information you return can be used generically by anything that wants to use it. The last piece we have is the view, and the view is concerned with displaying output, usually in a HTML format, but it could also be an XML feed or even a file to download. The base API class we use for views is called JView. The main point to note with views is they process the data they are given or ask for, and they can return the information to the user in multiple ways. So how do all these pieces work together? Let's look at a typical example for how a component displays some output. Each component has a master controller, and the component will ask the controller to execute a task. The controller will then create a model to get the data and a view to display the output, and the controller will connect the model to the view. The controller then asks the view to display the data. Since the view doesn't know how to get data information, it asks the model for it. The model will then query a data source and then return that data to the view. Once the view has that information, it calls a layout to display it and then Joomla handles the rest of the work to grab the output and put it into a template. Let's have a look at another example for a task that doesn't have any output, like when you're saving an article. In this case, the component could be using a master controller, or it could be using a specific subcontroller, and we'll look at subcontrollers in a future lesson. The controller creates the appropriate model and then calls an appropriate method in the model, which in this case would be a method to save the data. Then the model will do the thing it's supposed to do, in this case saving the data that was passed to it. When the model is finished, the controller will probably redirect you to a new page. These two cases will cover pretty much all the cases you will come across during normal component development. In the next lesson, we'll see how we can rework our simple Hello World example to use the Joomla MVC. See you back real soon.